It's important to accurately keep track of both the funds invested in a business and the funds drawn from a business. Sometimes QuickBooks users will mistakenly record owner injections as income or owner draws as expenses. The structure of equity accounts can differ greatly due to how the business is organized. Equity accounts will have different names depending on if it's a sole proprietorship, a partnership, an LLC, an S corporation, or a C corporation. Even though these accounts have different names, their purpose is similar, to keep track of ownership's interest in the business. QuickBooks will create different account structures for equity depending on the type of business you select when you create the file. For this tutorial, we'll concentrate on a sole proprietorship. Opening balance equity is a holding account used to offset entries when a new file is being set up. The balance of this account should be zero once the new file is established. Owner equity is your retained earnings account. Your net income at the end of the year will be rolled into this account by QuickBooks. Don't post to this account. Instead, we'll create an additional equity account for owner contributions. The owner draw account is to record draws on capital from the business by the owner or the owners. Here are the default equity accounts that QuickBooks creates for other types of business entities. The important thing to know is that there should always be an account for each owner for both contributions and draws from the business in addition to the retained earnings and opening balance equity accounts. This is a brand new company file called Play It Twice Sporting Goods. There are no transactions entered yet. Before we record injection of owner funds into the business, we want to make sure that we have our equity section of the balance sheet configured properly. We'll go to the list menu and select chart of accounts. Or an alternate way to open the chart of accounts is to press control A. We can see by looking at the equity section that our new sole proprietor file has three equity accounts. Opening balance equity, owner equity which acts as retained earnings, and owner draw. For a sole proprietor, QuickBooks creates owner equity for retained earnings. We can tell this is retained earnings by drilling down on the account and it brings up a quick report instead of a register. When I drill down on another equity account you can see how the register opens. In order to keep better track of both the owner contribution to the business and the owner draws from the business we'll make a couple of changes. First we'll change the name of owner equity to retained earnings since this is the account designated by QuickBooks to contain earnings after year end. So we'll highlight Owner Equity, go to the Account button, and select Edit. And I'll change our name to Retained Earnings, and Save. Next, we'll create a second account for Owner Contributions. So we'll go to the Account button, select New. We want an Equity Type Account and we'll call this Owner Contribution John Jones, the name of our owner. To organize John Jones's equity accounts, I'll create a parent account. Rather than use the account button in the window, this time I'll use the keyboard shortcut Control N for new account. We'll create an additional equity type account and we'll call this Owner Equity John Jones. We want to make both the contribution and the draw account sub-accounts of Owner Equity, which we can do right from this window by grabbing the diamond on the left and pulling it to the right. I also want to edit the draw account by highlighting it and pressing Control E for edit. I'll add the owner's name here, John Jones. If this business had multiple owners, we would set up the two equity accounts for contributions and draws for each of them, usually as sub-accounts to a parent account, so the net equity for each owner would be disclosed on the balance sheet. For this example, we'll stick with just the one owner. When an owner injects money into the business, the first half of the transaction is easy. The bank account increases. But where does the other half of the transaction go? It's not income. This is important.
taxes have presumably already been paid on those funds, so we don't want to count it as business revenue. It's not a loan from an outside party that has to be paid back, so it's not a liability. The offsetting entry should go to owner equity. There are two methods to entering the transaction. The first uses record deposits. Remember that record deposits always increases the bank account, and you select the offsetting account. I'll open the record deposits screen. In the field for received from, I'll enter the owner's name, John Jones. The from account is the owner contribution equity account we just created. For the memo, I'll put in cash injection. And we'll do it for $25,000. That's the first method. The second method is to record an owner injection of funds directly through the bank register. We'll go up to the banking menu and we'll select use register. And we'll confirm the bank account. Our payee is the company name. Play it twice sporting goods. We'll put in a, a deposit of an additional $25,000. Our offsetting account, again, will be the contribution account for John Jones. I'll put a memo in here, cash injection, and when I tab forward, it will enter. To confirm our entries, I'll bring up the balance sheet. We'll go to reports, company and financial, balance sheet standard. And we can see our cash balance of $50,000 and John Jones' net equity of $50,000. An additional way to confirm the entries is with a deposit report. We go to Reports, and we'll go down to Banking, Deposit Detail. And we can see both $25,000 entries here. To recap, the two methods of recording owner contributions are using the record deposits window with the owner equity contribution account as the from account, or the contribution can be recorded directly in the bank register. Make sure not to use the receive payments window to record owner funds because they have nothing to do with accounts receivable. Also make sure to use an equity account and not an income account. This is an income and you don't want to pay taxes on it. A third method that can be used to record owner contributions is with journal entries. However, journal entries don't leave deposit records. When the owner draws funds from the business, there are also two ways to record the transaction. The first is by writing a check. For pay to the order of, we'll put in the owner's name, John Jones, and we'll make this for $5,000. The offsetting account is the equity account we created. Owner draws for John Jones. And I'll put a memo in. Owner draw. And then we'll save it. The second way to record the owner draw is again directly through the bank register. Rather than use the banking menu this time, we'll use the keyboard shortcut Control R for register. We'll confirm the bank account and I'll tab over to the payee and we'll enter John Jones's name. The payment amount is an additional $5,000 and I'll tab through to the offset account. It will again be John Jones's equity drawing account and tab again to enter. I'll close out the register and we'll bring up the balance sheet once again. Reports, company and financial, balance sheet standard. We can see that the bank balance has been reduced by $10,000 and total net owner equity for John Jones is now $40,000. If we want a report regarding John Jones's draws, we can drill down on the draw account on the balance sheet for a detailed report. To recap, Owner draws can either be recorded using the write checks window or directly in the bank register. Make sure that the debit is directed to an equity drawing account and not an expense account. A report on owner draws can be generated by drilling down on the account from the balance sheet. A third way to record an owner draw is with a journal entry. Again, this doesn't leave as good of an electronic paper trail as the two methods we just demonstrated. 
When structuring your business's equity accounts, make sure all the ownership interests are represented. And check with your business's accounting professional to make sure your equity structure is appropriate for your business's legal entity.